Welcome back, fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. ASMR. Message. Message, message, message. Message. Therafluid. The misprint. Misogenations. <sighs> graphene. Graphene, graphene, graphene. <clears throat> Everything coming, coming, coming. To a halt. Fire, nice. <clears throat> it's almost written out like a movie in a way. But it's reality. Everything you know in your world is coming to a halt, a halt, a halt. <clears throat> the Therafluid. <sighs> Basically, different names for different properties, but all the same graphene that does the trick. In the scientific field of studies, but it's not even. Not even, and not even, so scientifically, when it's coming to misprint your entire DNA, when it's misprinting the human race, when it's misprinting going out from the dominion of the people that lived before us, to take away what is rightfully ours. So it is fully concentrated and fully penetrating the human race, the DNA, the misprint, fire, and ice. I do study quite a bit of alchemy, and even in my past, I had to connect the dots, the dots, and the dots. How were creatures made out of rock and trees? <clears throat> And so much more. Does it connect? Does this different properties of the different aspects of this so-called alchemy going even connecting back with the graphene, the therafluid, the things that are coming, coming and coming over the human race, the human population? <clears throat> That we have never seen before. <clears throat> we really thought the movies were a joke. Going back even to Lord of the Rings. We were wondering how the orcs were made. The tree giants. The rock giants. Even into the Book of Enoch. Even in all these things. Fire and ice. Not just the misprint of humanity. Not just the misprint of our DNA. <clears throat> or the corruption that will be eventually one coming day of the entire genome, the entire DNA, the entire pedigree table of the human race that falls upon us, each and every one of us. And as we draw closer to that day, no different than me driving... No different than me driving this car down this road at full speed because we are headed at full speed to the full misprint of the DNA, not just the AI, but the entire corruption of a whole race of, a, of societies and a world as we know it.
ASMR. <clears throat> Everything we know to be true is a lie. Obviously. 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 We know it to be the lie. That has served the human race for so long. Everything we see is what we think we see. Or perceive is what we perceive and perceive or perceive in conjunction to our reality. It is totally different than what we perceive to take in to go forth with all of it all of it and all of it <clears throat> absolutely without no doubt in my mind we are headed for a misprint a misprint that was never supposed to be ours in the first place But it's a misprint of darkness. Of an injection of darkness. That is coming. I question this. And question the future of generations to come. <clears throat> as well. Say it is not so. My friend. My friend. And my friend. This is not reality, but this is also not the Matrix. This is something totally different. Totally different. And totally different. Totally. Totally miscued. And totally. Totally. Miscued. And miscued. I miss you. <clears throat> the different properties, and going back even to the alchemy, but also, most importantly, the graphene, the therafluid, the misprint, the graphene goes into this. Not say too much. So you have to be careful nowadays. You have to be careful, careful, careful. What you say, and say, and say. <clears throat> but the graphene does connect back to the occult world, and it's always been a symbol of the corruption. Even in the occult world that is and that is and that is for what is will be what has always been will be for its repeated kingdoms that have been here and the last kingdom to come for the entire collapse that will come over this entire world as we know it as we know it and as we know it entire collapses of kingdoms that have come before us and the kingdom now that will eventually fall for every mighty kingdom eventually does fall yes it rolled for a point in time such as even Babylon the Great. Even Caesar's palace. And all the other palaces that ruled before there, his and after, has fallen. And so shall this kingdom fall as well. <clears throat> the alchemy of this corruption 
was not just the injection of the graphite. It was so much more things happening. But get off leaning more to my message so I don't get away. The different properties of the graphite, even with the therafluid and everything, is just conjunctions of the different properties of the different physicalities of it, how it performs with not just the injections, but Of what it, not just really that it has life in the graphite and the blood of human DNA. But it also goes into different conjunctions as well. Of the way it moves. The way it speaks. And also, going back to the occult world of what it was used for. What else were, where, and where. They were taking the same graphite. And mixing, we ask how were the DNAs mixed to create creatures, but more importantly, non so much physical creatures, but supernatural creatures with supernatural abilities made out of supernatural objects and things that were unhuman, that were out of bounds with nature, with nature. And with nature itself. Such as. How are creatures made out of rocks and trees. And all these different metal materials and everything. Oh. That. They can still move and talk like us. And still be alive. The different properties and things. And and from the alchemy. The alchemical table. Conjoined with the scientific periodic table of everything on this planet that were used in different conjunctions with the alchemical tables needed because with the alchemical tables each property requires a spell going back into the occult rituals to derive something that was never supposed to live but now it's living and taking a property from the scientific periodic table from the alchemical table Also, with the graphite and whatever blood that is needed, such as animal blood or human blood, is there's life in the blood, life in the graphite, conjoined and mixed together with a spell to create something, to make something, to birth something even demonic that was never supposed to be made with the material from the alchemical table into the scientific periodic table to make something with the right spell to create something and something and something that was out of bounds with nature. And now, even today, it still plays out, still goes on and goes on and goes on. Making things out of different materials for this planet with the DNA mixed. How do you think the orcs were made even in the Lord of the Rings. Or also, there was other things as well. But it's all symbolism. We all disagree and laugh and want to say, these were just movies. But even with rock giants, how are rocks made with different materials from now? Chemical tables, scientific tables... Also mixing with the graphite and DNA from humans with the materials, with the right spell to create the right being with the right properties. Because even with the right creature that would be living, you need the right properties to suit, to suit, and to suit this creature, this being. This unnatural force that is really supernatural in nature, but out of bounds with nature. And the misprint that would come because the full corruption in the symbolism, the symbolism and the symbolism comes from, from, and from the graphite. And the graphite. And the graphite. The misprint was all in the corruption 
from the graphite. That was the number one property. It was basically, basically, and basically the blood of the occult world. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. ASMR. ASMR. How how can we continue to deny such things? Some of this is new, but you have to uh, uh, you would ask me how did I or how could even myself connect the dots? Well, this source was not found by myself alone. This source came from the things I have studied from my past. I still study. And also, it came from a source above me that stands above me. I would just say that. How would anybody know such information? Well, it still goes on today. But the graphite and everything else, plus just with the symbolism, helped me. And the source that goes above me stands over me and showed me and showed me and showed me what forces what was at hand and what is still at hand in the state of humanity and the human race of the blood occult blood that was symbolic for every type of corruption known to humanity why is it that these fallen ones when they fell they knew the source they knew the substance the blood substance that was going to corrupt <clears throat> not one day to not only one day to make the misprint of the human DNA and full human nature in itself going even past AI but it was a blood symbol that was that was everything to corrupt the human race and it was all going back to the graphite the blood the occult blood that would corrupt everything even create the miscegenation the misprint from these different properties such as the therafluid the graphite call comes from the graphene but basically the source of all this is not even from this planet. It's really, graphite is really extraterrestrial because as everything else, you even going back to Spider-Man and, and graphite was the same thing as that created Venom because it was living and everything it touched and held on to, it corrupted. And turned it into something it was never supposed to be. And basically, graphite, who really comes from the graphene, came from another planet in our solar system, or out of the solar system, one or the other, but it was extra terrestrial, meaning it's not from this world, it's from a different place. And so. We connect the dots and it takes me back to the occult world which goes into the al alchemical spells and the alchemical table followed with the periodic table to make such creatures that were out of whack with nature itself who are taking any material in this world and creating creatures with the human or animal blood DNA, or any DNA you get your hands on, plus the materials that we have on Earth, such as rocks, trees, different material sources to create such creatures through the occult rituals and supernatural beings, supernatural sources to make, using such sources on this planet with the right spells, right temperatures, whatever else is needed, and the alchemical rituals followed with the occult rituals to make such creatures.
just go back to the drawing board, connect the dots, but pray and 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 see what this higher source would show you because I know this higher source had showed and connected the dots, helped me connect the dots. It's all supernatural, not just so much physical because we do, we do, and we do live, live, and live also in a supernatural world as well. Fire and ice, fire and ice, fire and ice. Everything you thought you knew was true was not true. Everything. From the time you were born to the time now, it's been perceived differently. Everything, everything, and everything was made. And everything was not shown. Some things have been hidden because the darkness has been hidden until now because everything is being brought to the light. Just as these cars shine right in front of me, the light is coming through. The darkness is being shown for what it is. Everything in the dark is coming to light and being shown for what it truly is. What it is and what it always has done, its functionalities, its movements, how it's operated. It's operated, it's darkness for a reason because it only operates in the darkness. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Everything, everything, and everything is coming to pass. Coming to pass and coming to pass. Everything is here we know about. But all the hidden truths, all the things that has helped me connect. I'm here to share with you what has been shown to me, what I have studied as well, and everything I've prayed for has come to me and been shown to me on a drawing board, like a drawing board, and I've connected the dots, and I'm still connecting the dots right now. It's helping me, but it's coming from a source that's higher than me, greater than me, more potent and thicker than me just like syrup but thicker than syrup thicker than oil thicker than the water <sighs> shown but going back graphite and all the sources different properties used for different properties from the alchemical tables to the scientific periodic table it's a breakdown to make with the right spells and rituals and everything that were performed and still performed today and some of them are performed even in labs today to create such creatures that are not just flesh-like but have different materials, the rocks, the metal, to even making fallen, probably even I would say, and I would say, and I would say, even fallen angels again, but demonically infused creatures with red eyes even remember uh remember remember all these other things even power rangers with the pig with wings and it had body armors even making creatures with body armors by using different properties of this world even with metals to be infused into such creatures to have them natural, to give them body armor, but infused in their bodies with using alchemy, but also scientific technologies with occult rituals and infusing not just physicalities or physical things in nature with these things, with the infusions, but also supernatural going into the infusions of such properties and materials and transformations to create a final property creature, not just material and not just getting some things, but getting creatures made through supernatural 
ability, supernatural technology, supernatural, supernatural ways of creating things that would give you something out of whack with nature, out of whack with everything, out of whack. With all the properties of this world as we know it. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. <sighs> Perceive it differently. Fire and ice out.